Hey there, trailblazers. Welcome back to the Declarative Academy, your go-to place for demystifying Salesforce with clarity, confidence, and a little bit of fun. If you're studying for your admin cert or just trying to level up your service cloud skills, you're in the right place. Today, we're diving into one of the most powerful parts of Service Cloud, automating case management. We'll walk through how to set up queues, assignment rules, escalation rules, and auto responses. Everything you need to make your support team faster, smarter, and less stressed. By the end of this module, you'll know how to root cases using queues, automatically assign cases to the right agents, escalate cases when time's running out, send personalized auto replies to customers. Let's make case handling smoother than ever. Ready? Let's roll. So what exactly is case management? Think of it like this. When a customer asks for help, Salesforce makes sure that request lands in the right hands at the right time with the right follow-up. And how? With automation tools inside Service Cloud. Maria, our fictional Salesforce admin, is setting this up for Ursa Major Solar. Her goal? make service quicker and more reliable without burning out her support team. Here are the four key tools she uses. Queues, let agents pull from shared case lists. Assignment rules, root cases based on things like issue type or product. Escalation rules, alert someone when a case isn't resolved fast enough. Auto response rules, send instant confirmation emails to customers. Let's look at how Maria puts each one into action and how you can too. Before building anything in Salesforce, Maria sits down with her service team to ask some smart questions. Do agents share work? If yes, we use queues. Do certain agents handle specific topics? Then it's assignment rules. Need to handle urgent cases fast. Bring in escalation rules. Want customers to get a, we got your message email. That's auto response rules. Knowing the team's structure helps Maria decide which tools to apply, and the same goes for you. Let's build our first piece, a queue for high-priority support cases. Imagine your Platinum support team needs to share a workload. Here's how to set that up. Click the Setup gear icon and select Service Setup. In the Quick Find box, type Queues and click it. Hit New and name your queue something like Platinum Support. Under Supported Objects, add Case. Add your teammates as queue members. Click Save. Now, agents can view the queue by selecting Platinum Support from the Cases tab in the Service Console. Easy access, shared ownership. Next up, Assignment Rules. Let's root cases that mention installation to the right expert. From Service Setup, type Case. Assignment Rules into Quick Find. Click New. Name it something like Solar Panel Installation, then Save. Select the rule, click New under Rule Entries. In Sort Order, Type 1. Set Criteria, Case Reason equals Installation. Assign it to the right agent, you, for now. Choose an email template so they get notified. Save it, click Edit, and mark the rule as active. Tip, only one assignment rule can be active at a time, so make sure this one does everything you need. Time to cover escalation rules, your safety net for slow moving cases. Maria wants unresolved cases to escalate after five hours. Here's how. In service setup, search for escalation rules. Click new, name it, gold support, activate it and save. Select the rule, then click new rule entry. Sort order. One, criteria, case status equals new use your default 24-7 business hours, set age over to five hours, assign escalated cases to, you guessed it, you choose a notification template. Now, if a case sits untouched, someone's getting alerted. Last but not least, let's keep our customers in the loop with auto response rules. In quick find, type case, auto response rules, click new, call it, welcome to support, activate and save. Add a rule entry with sort order. One criteria, case origin equals email. From name and email, 
an email template for the response, save it and you're done. Now customers get a friendly, we've got your case email instantly, nice touch. Maria's team is off to a great start, but there's more waiting down the road. Page layout editor, customize what agents see, email templates, save time with standardized replies, entitlement management, track service agreements, omni-channel, balance agent workload macros, and quick text, speed up repetitive actions utilities, give agents tools like notes or soft phones. We'll cover these in future videos, so stay tuned. All right, it's time to get hands-on. We'll walk through this together, step by step. Ready? Let's roll. Step one, create a queue. Head into setup and search for queues. Click new for the label, type, panel. Set the queue name to panel as well. Under supported objects, select case. Now, add yourself as a member. Yep, you're part of the crew. Hit save. Step two, create an assignment rule. Still in setup, type in case assignment rules. Click new and name it assign panel. To save it. Now click into that rule and create a new rule entry. Set, sort order, two, one for the field, case, description, operator contains, and for the value, the panel two. Then under assigned to, choose Q and select panel two. Pick an email template for notifications. Save and activate the rule. Step three, create an escalation rule, optional, but highly recommended. Back in setup, Go to Escalation Rules. Click New Rule and name it Panel 2. Create a rule entry with status not equal to closed, age over 30 minutes. Assign it to, you guessed it, yourself. Choose a notification template to keep the updates flowing. Save it, activate it. And just like that, you've built a mini automation system for your new product support. Efficient, smart, and ready to scale. Well done. Let's recap. Queues share the workload. Assignment rules send cases to the right person. Escalation rules make sure nothing falls through the cracks. Auto responses keep your customers informed. Case management doesn't have to be chaotic. And now you've got the tools to keep your team cool and your customers happy. If this video helps simplify Salesforce case automation for you, show some love by liking, commenting, and subscribing to the Declarative Academy. Got questions? Drop them below. We love hearing from you. Until next time, keep learning, keep automating, and keep blazing the trail. Catch you in the next video.